Hey guys, it's Christina and welcome back to my channel. I actually haven't vlogged in a while. I was super busy with school and I have been on like youth exchanges throughout the whole semester and some of them were vlog worthy and some of them just weren't. So the past one month just wasn't vlog worthy. So yeah, today I'm literally so excited because I'm in one of my all time favorite cities in Romania. I'm gonna put them in here because I feel weird pronouncing like Romanian names and like words in English because it just sounds weird But this is literally my favorite location in Romania. It's just such a pretty city I'm gonna take you guys into like the city center and like they have like a fortress like in the city center And it's literally the cutest thing ever. I have been coming here like ever since I was a child We always came here with school with like youth groups and stuff like that So it's not like this city is totally new to me I always feel like literally so happy to come here because it's I I don't know it's just my happy place i just got back from the mall i have never been to the mall this was actually my first time to the mall in this city and literally the mall is so cute it's totally worthless because it's not like you can buy a lot of things like h&m is missing sensei is missing and like all these big brands are not available here in this mall i don't know if the city has like another mall but the mall like itself is so freaking cute when i walked in i kind of had like a provo town center vibe so i immediately felt at home because it was like so i don't know american with like the light when you went into like pro Townie center it was just a good vibe you know because everything was like open space then you just walked into stores i never went there to like shop i always went there to hang out you know with my friends to do stuff and i feel like this mall is exactly the same like you could come here and hang out like all that you want because it's an awesome place they have like this really cute island right in the middle of the mall on the top of the island they have like a coffee shop like an open coffee shop it's not like covered with anything it's like a bar thing but it's really cute on the bottom of it they have a mini arcade that was literally so cute i don't know if it's like all year around but for christmas it was decorated and they also had these cute electric cars that kids can go into and that's like so american also somebody told me that whenever they talk to me like my every second sentence is like that's so american like everything is american like what the heck no everything is not american here i went into the food court i was like walking around they had basic stuff like salads pizza pasta and stuff like that and i thought that i wanted pasta but then i saw the chinese restaurant and i was like so happy so i ran up to the restaurant i stood there for like i think two minutes i was contemplating whether i should speak in romanian or should I just go with English but then the lady started asking me in Romanian I freaked out so I don't know I just answered in Romanian and I'm literally so proud of myself like literally a year ago I would have freaked out and I would have like just bursted out the answers in English that was literally the most awkward thing that I did like not responding in Romanian and this time I did I didn't even have to think about it so I was like so proud of myself so I go up to her I answer in Romanian and I ask her if they have orange chicken and she looks at me and she's like like, what do you want? She had no idea what that was. Is orange chicken an American thing? Or just was she the one who didn't know it? There was a sesame chicken, which I swear looked like an orange chicken. It just had like sesame seeds on it. So I got that. And I also got like chow mein. That's what it's called in like Panda Express. I don't know what's it called here. Something about the yete, whatever. I don't know. I couldn't even read it. Okay, so the best thing about this mall, they had a European like Dunkin' Donuts. And I got literally the cutest donut ever. Okay, this is the box. I don't even know how to... Oh, it... Okay, it opens like this. Oh, uh, it's Kinder Bounty... No, Country. No, it was the Kinder Country Bar Donut. The only mistake they made is that they put raisin on it, which I'm gonna take off because I don't like it. I like raisin in itself, but not on anything. Food was really good. It was straight up orange chicken. The lady just didn't know it, but it's okay. Every time I come here, I'm gonna eat here because it was that good. It was really close to Panda Express. It wasn't like Panda Express quality, but it was like really close. I'm gonna go and try to find a Christmas market of some sort. The funny thing 
but this city not funny it's actually not funny it's really cool throughout like the whole center they have like these statues you can like take a bunch of pictures with it this is like a university building and like the guy is literally like graduating he has a cap so probably graduating and there's piper i know it's cold but i'm so surprised that this part of the city is like super empty this part is usually like filled with people i kind of feel weird being here like almost all by myself okay this square is like huge and it's like super pretty i literally anticipate the day when i come here and take pictures because i usually say that romania does not have an aesthetic but honestly like this part of romania kind of has like an aesthetic I can this is like the former king Okay, this is the place where I always wanted to come to take pictures Like right here It would be so cool, like literally the coolest thing I literally remember coming here with like a bunch of friends And taking pictures with, well, these guys And the last time we were here, me and my brother also took pictures with like these guys You say that you will love me every night and day And I promise you that I will do the same Ooh, and look, they have like a wrath it's called an advent wreath on the wreath we have like four candles that we light like each sunday like the last four sunday counting back from like christmas and like the fourth one we light it on like christmas eve and i think it's a really cute tradition like symbolizing like getting ready for like christmas and stuff like that No way! Stop! They're literally playing like Spanish songs. They're ice skating. They have super amazing like pretty lights. Like just imagine this place like at night. Officially my favorite city ever. The place that I'm gonna show you is literally the coolest thing in the summer It's like a fountain And it literally does like shows and stuff like that It's super cool Mr. Woodrow Wilson Don't ask me why I have no idea I've seen it like the last time I came here I don't know what he's doing here I hear like the craziest Romanian tradition So I'm gonna try and go and film it basically these guys like right before christmas they dress up into like demonic costumes and they beat the drums on the street and they go and yell and like whistle and stuff like that like can somebody explain it to me please because i've been here for like this is my second year in like a romanian environment in romania and i still have no idea why you guys do this and honestly in brasov it like freaks me out these guys are not dressed in like demonic costumes the one in brasov are and these guys are just like dressed in the romanian flag and like dumb weird I don't know now I need an explanation I have to go and sit in the car my hands are frozen I don't know how I'm gonna drive like this I was gonna show you guys something really cool where my friends and like I always used to go and we used to say that we can like see literally the whole world from there like we saw Argentina Brazil which is obviously not true like that place felt like the top of the world and it was really funny to say that like back at that age I was literally just like minding my business and I was gonna go to that place and I was gonna wait for a group of people to pass by they like literally intersected like two other people who apparently spoke spanish and like the group of people also spoke spanish and then they literally started to talk for like the longest time and i was like waiting for them to just pass so i can film and they just wouldn't when i was coming up here i was like thinking what if i move here because i like it i won't have like foreigners to like meet and stuff like that literally the first thing that i found like right after i parked was the 
Erasmus International office and like the Spanish people so I was like I'm gonna be fine there's like so many things that I want to show you guys so I'm gonna come up like one of these days spring days I'm gonna come up here and do like a legit Alba Julia like visit Alba Julia vlog thank you so much for like keeping up with me and I really hope you liked it it's freezing so it's not like I filmed a bunch of things and I'll see you in my next video bye on the new adventure